Good morning and happy Saturday to you. And I'm excited because today is day 185 of the income stream and we're gonna be reviewing some of your websites and some of your YouTube channels and anything else. I actually think that we could potentially open this up to, I don't know, Instagram and Facebook pages and other things that we ever uh, might need help with. So anyway, I'm just very, very thankful that you're here today. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag team replay in the comments. If you're here live, say hello to your friends here. Welcome in everybody, thanks again. And uh, let's enjoy the show. We have a lot to cover. So let's get started. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. All while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave inspired with no fee required. The income stream with Pat Flynn. Thank you to all of you, Startup Flame in the house, and John Michael Dornuff. We got April just dropping to say, good afternoon, everyone. I'm off to shower and get my day started. Miss you miss you to April. Thanks for being here. Thundalea, hello, everyone. Hello. Elton, back in the house. It's been good to see you here. It's been a while. I feel like you have been gone. Uh, consult the blind guy, Mandy. Uh, makeup by Antonica. Fantastic. Rhino, welcome in. Uh, Grandma Goody. Uh, great job. Thanks for being here. And I know it's a Saturday, so I appreciate your time and I uh, want to make this worth your time. So let's talk about a little bit about what we're looking for here in terms of what we're going to be reviewing. And then I'd love to take some submissions from the chat. Even if you've been reviewed here before, I'd love to just continue to help you out over time here. This is one of the things we continue to do this every single Saturday. And over time, I've already started to see a lot of progression in many of your websites and many of your YouTube channels and it's been really neat. It's been really fun and I'm just I got to say it's one of my favorite things to do. Even though Saturdays we have fewer people in the house, even though it's a little bit more casual on the weekends and tomorrow please come back because we have a fun Q&A, a little bit of an ask me anything happening, but more than that, it's just the ability for us to connect with each other uh on the regular. You know, it feels really good to know that we're here for each other and especially in this time where we're lacking the ability to go to places and meet with other people. I mean, this, although I would love to meet you all in person, uh, it just can't happen right now. And it's obviously not uh, as convenient. So to have this ability for us to connect, uh, I'm just very grateful for that. So thank you so much. So here's what we're going to talk about. When I'm visiting these websites and or YouTube channels or anywhere else, really, the thing that we have to focus on first, more than anything, is does it tell me who this is for and what's in it for me? Also, Duck Gun Chronicles is asking, how about a podcast? Yeah, happy to do a podcast as well. And we can listen in and I'm not going to listen to the entire episodes here, obviously. But again, listening in very quickly, looking at the podcast page, as well as maybe listening to an episode and hearing the first minute. And that first minute is really important because very similar to number one here. Does it tell me who this is for and what's in it for me? Not me, Pat Flynn, but the viewer or the listener or the reader. That's going to be really important for sure. In addition to that, we also want to know, well, are you helping me know what to do first? A lot of times our websites, especially, it's just a mashup of a whole bunch of different things that have come about over time. And it's just based on what we're energized about, what the hot topics might be at the time. But somebody coming in now might not be best served by all the stuff that we have there all up front there perhaps might be a better way to guide people through some of the most helpful stuff or some of the most popular or at least maybe step one. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. On YouTube, the idea would be, okay, well, how might the playlists be organized in a way that would allow me to search through all of your content much easier? Uh, thinking about a podcast, uh, really a podcast doesn't have much to work with, especially on a podcast subscription page like on Apple Podcast or Spotify or uh, Stitcher or what have you. So really, I'm going to be looking for, does the title grab me enough? And also, again, that first minute, is that is that compelling enough for me to now do that magic moment in a podcast? And that magic moment for a podcast is when I go, okay, I've now committed to listening to this. I'm going to put my phone away and the earbuds are in. Number three, how am I connecting to you versus others? So how am I going to see that you're different. How am I gonna have you stand out from all the other people that are likely talking about the same kinds of things? So this could be a number of things. It could be your story. How soon does your story come into this? How well do you define what it is that is different from you versus others? 
Um, how might you compare yourself to others uh, very specifically? I remember when I first started, I kind of wanted to be like everybody else because everybody else was succeeding. And I was like, oh, I should do what they're doing. But it was interesting because when I had gotten pointed to the fact that it was what made me different, that was why people stood out, uh, st st stuck around and um, really was compelled about what I was doing. Uh, then I then leaned into that and I started to see growth even faster. And what that was, was especially in the internet marketing space, was the idea that I was not this person who is using the money to travel and to buy expensive things. I wanted to, to, to have money come in for financial security and freedom so that I could build a family. It was leaning into that that differentiated me from others. And there were different kinds of ways I leaned into that. Uh, there were some very explicit things on the homepage before I crossed the million dollar mark. I basically just said, hey, I'm not a millionaire. I'm just in this to help my family. And that really was something that was just brought to everybody's attention right up front. You might even remember back in the olden days on the uh, sidebar of my website, there was a picture of me with my son and a little name tag that said, hi, I'm Pat, I'm not a millionaire but I am here to build businesses to help my future. Um, I used to joke about how my Lamborghini was a 2012 Toyota Sienna, which if you don't know what a 2012 Toyota Sienna is, that's um, a soccer mom fan. And that, again, leaning into how I was able to stand out helped me grow even faster. And yes, it did weed out those people who wanted the rich lifestyle, the mansions and Lamborghinis and cars and things, but it also attracted the right kind of people for me too. So that's uh, how that went down. And I, I think that for any of these things that we're going to be reviewing, I'm, I'm going to pay careful attention to number three here. How, how, like what's the connection to you or the brand? How are you differentiating yourself from others? Cool. Number four, non-essentials and distractions. This is just something I always look for, meaning are there things on here that kind of aren't necessary? We want to build our websites and have our brands be somewhat, not minimal, but we want things on there that matter. And in many cases, especially on websites where we kind of have ultimate control over what they look like, what's posted, what's designed, we sometimes kind of go a little overboard and often include things that actually stunt our growth or hold us back from actually connecting because we think these things are useful, but in fact are distractions instead. So I'm gonna be looking for those sorts of things. And then number five here is just branding and design in general and all that fun stuff. So Shonda says, I had a Sienna for 18 years. Ah, oh, one of the best, most reliable cars. In fact, we still have our 2012 Toyota Sienna. We got it after we had Kai because we had a CRV, a Honda CRV first. And that was our first family car with the car seat in there. And then the van, oh my gosh, it's just the most. I didn't want a van at first, in fact. I was very anti-van. I was like, no, 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 I don't, that's the dark side. I don't want to be that suburban family with the soccer mom van. It's like now, even though we have two other cars, we can't get rid of that Sienna because just in many cases, especially for kinds of dance classes or sports, it's just so helpful. Um, April has a, a, a Jeep now, and then I have my Tesla Model Y. Cool, bruh. Bro, yeah. you guys, I'm just so grateful that you're here on a Saturday. Just again, you've inspired me to wake up and, and help out. And I get so excited about this. And even though there are days, not today, but there are days where I go, oh, okay, I have to go do the income stream. As soon as I hit broadcast and I see your faces here, it just makes me so happy. Or your avatars, at least. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to write down. Whoa, that was crazy. That was a domino effect. I knocked over my headphones and then it went into story time. That was kind of funny. So I'm gonna I'm gonna review Rhino Dog's website first, and then we can go into some more crowdsourcing on who I can serve here. So the 318 project. And I remember this, Rhino Dog, because we went there and there was a big 318 on the website and not really much else to help us connect to what does this 318 mean? As soon as we dove into what that meant on the website, finally it started to sort of unravel in a good way and share what it, what it is this was about. But uh, I'm excited to go in, so why don't, why don't we dive in? We'll start with uh, Rhino Dog 34 here and uh, review his website. So the318project.com. All right, should be popping up in just a minute. And mind you, Speed of website loading is important, 
but don't take into account how it's loading here because I am streaming, so things can often take a little bit more time. But page time, speed time, those are all important things, uh, or, or, or uh, loading time. These are all things that definitely Google does take into account, so just please keep that in mind. Fantastic. So already looking way better than I remember. It was pretty barren the last time I was here, I think. I'm going to take that off for you. The 318 Project, to help men be the husbands, fathers, and sons that God created them to be through godly kingdom principles. Awesome. With a dad behind there, it's a little bit darker than I think I remember. The 318 stands out. It's very clear who this is for and why it's here. So great job, Rhino Dog. Uh, you hit the nail on the head here. This was a big issue the last time we reviewed your website and you've nailed this language. I'm curious to know how much time you've spent on this language because this, again, this tagline, this could, this could even be a little bit bigger, in fact, I would say, because this is so important. The 318 Project, that's important as well. But to help men be the husbands and sons uh, and fathers that God created them to be through godly kingdom principles. The one thing I will notice is there is indeed a, uh, um, there is a email address in the upper right-hand corner, or upper left-hand corner. Is that intentional? Um, I would avoid having a publicly displayed email address. I would have people go through a contact page instead. And the reason for that is because there are bots, there are people and sort of scummy places that have these automated tools that kind of scrape the internet for email addresses, then sp send spam email to. So I see this address on the left-hand side uh, on the top left. And I worry about that because you're going to likely get a lot of messages that actually are just going to waste your time and clog your inbox. So I would remove that and have a contact area. I also see this with this is called a hamburger icon on the upper left hand corner here. This is the hamburger icon. And this is a tool or device that allows me to have a whole bunch of links or navigation items within it. So when I click on this, you'll see that there's now a navigation menu. Now, typically, this shows up on mobile devices when a person is on a mobile device. On a desktop page like we are on now, and by the way, I see the podcast down below using the sticky player from Fusebox. That looks great. Just this curve, it looks fantastic. The way the buttons are laid on top of that, like beautifully done. The buttons are blue, fantastic. Um, the social icons on the upper right-hand corner. I will say that if possible, on a desktop version of your website, to you can still have the hamburger icon there, but these... Navigation menu items here, about me, podcast, blog, social, perhaps they should still live in the upper side or upper area, sort of in a, in a horizontal bar. Now, the truth is I do see the same links down here, about me, podcast, blog, social media. So that maybe isn't as necessary, but generally speaking, the best practice still is to have just text links for each of those places so I don't have to scroll into that. And again, the more, like that's not going to, be too much, I think, because it's just text. But I do see the same links down here, so maybe that's why you have it. These buttons look great. If you could have potentially some sort of animation, again, we're going a little bit further now with you. I'm getting nitpicky with you, Rhino Dog. But on buttons like this, we wanna make sure that people understand that these are indeed buttons, and they do look like buttons here, but circle buttons less so. Design-wise, circles aren't often perceived as buttons right away. So because these are buttons and I can see my cursor change, I can, I can see it change from the arrow to the finger there. If you have a circle button, try to have some sort of animation when I hover over it. This is called a hover animation, meaning maybe it changes color or it kind of grows a little bit or shrinks or some sort of, um, some sort of ability to, to just, again, really help me understand that, okay, this is something I should click on. So that would help a little bit. So podcast, you have a blog, uh, some get started now stuff. Fantastic. This is a beautiful image about me. So this is the one disconnect I see here. The 318 project to help men be husbands, fathers, and sons that God created them to be through godly kingdom principles about me. I'm, th there's a little bit of a disconnect before the 318 project and what it does. And then now here, learn about me. I don't know who you are or how I want to learn about you yet. So this is a little bit of like, let me know if this is coming across. The message here is to help men or to help men like you 
become the husbands. That could be something that you could do to, to further the connection here right up front. But about me, I'm not yet compelled to learn about you because I still want to know what's in it for me. I can see this button maybe being changed to um, learn about, uh, you know, hi, I'm, and then your name. Click here to learn about me and how I can help you, right? Again, always coming from a place of service. And this is this this changes the the language to hey let's make it about me and what could help is if there's a picture or some sort of description of you um, like hi I'm Rhino Dog I built this website because all these things are very important to me click here to learn more about me and and and, and the website uh, versus just tagline and then about me if that makes sense. Keep in mind that the hover effects do not happen on touch devices. Any recommendations for animating buttons like that on WordPress? Um, there are likely tutorials that you can use to create just really quick rules for buttons and hover states. Um, I'm not that proficient in that, but uh, again, it could just be a color change, right? Um, if, I don't, again, I don't know the coding language, but um, there's likely some easy tutorials that you can use to create that uh, hover language there. Right, uh, raise up faithful men to, to, okay, cool, like this, get started now, get started now, client testimonials, I see some John Doe's here, so these, of course, would be wanting to be replaced, we don't want to have placeholders or something that would make it go, oh, well, this is still in the in, uh, a work in progress, it's okay that you have one testimonial here, and you can remove these others until you get some other ones, free uh, marriage prayer guide, you have this lead magnet, you have a, an image to go on, along with it, Click to download the free marriage prayer. Prayer produces intimacy. You become the intimate with um, I, I want a little bit more, and I think you have room for this if you move this down. One or two bullet points about this guide. You have a quote about the guide. You have a headline about the guide, free marriage prayer guide. Click to download the free marriage prayer. Fantastic. But I need a paragraph or some sentence to tell me what is it exactly that I'm getting. Uh, so the free marriage prayer, a one-page um, helpful tool to help me build more intimacy with my spouse through prayer, right? Something like that could go a very long way here. Again, we're, we're, we're like 90% there. And the last time I was here, I think we were maybe 30%. You got some blog posts here as well. Contact us. If you have a question, suggestion, or simply want to leave a comment about website or podcast then click on the link below to leave a voice message through SpeakPipe. That's really cool. I will say, however, it can be sometimes like pulling teeth, just in general, to get a voice message from somebody. Number one, a lot of people assume that they just can't or don't have the technology to leave a good voice message. Um, SpeakPipe obviously makes it very easy to do. Number two, uh, the just it's a little bit scary for people to leave a voice message on the internet, right? Remember, we're, 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 we're on the internet. Things happen on the internet. We think that sometimes these things will be permanent. We don't know how private they are, etc. And it almost feels like a phone call. So there's a lot of friction to get a person to leave a voice message, right? So what you could do is in this contact area, also include either a form or at least a link to a pop-up form in case a person doesn't wanna leave a voice message. We do not want the fact that it's a voice message or voice contact situation to hold people back from reaching out to you in case that's something they want to do. I can see people wanting to leave a message or wanting to help and going, oh, voice, okay, never mind, right? So I think that um, that's just something to keep in mind. So if you have been seeing that nobody's been using this, um, and again, Ryan, like let's let's put your name up here somewhere, like to help, hi, I'm Ryan, click here to learn about me and what I can do to help you. Just, you know, at least an introduction before, you know, learn about me. Remember, it's like, this is the first time you're gonna meet people, so we want, people to go, oh, this is the person we're learning about versus like if you go to a party and you're just like, hey guys, you want to learn about me? It's like, wait, who who are you, who are you even? Who even are you, right? Versus, hey, I'm Ryan. Like, can I tell you a little bit about myself? That's a little bit better. Um, and then the ultimate one is, hey, I'm, I'm Ryan. This is what my focus is. Can I, can I share more about how I can help you? Boom, okay, that's the ultimate one, if that makes sense. Cool. Thank you, my pen, for the amazing feedback there in the last uh, message you just sent. Awesome. What's up, GTO? Good to see you here. Always a pleasure. 
Uh, this is fantastic. Let's get into some of this latest news because I want to dive into a little bit more. Um, and again, I want to see how you are connecting. And again, there's other, uh, I have yet to see the quote unquote unique thing here. Um, it may be buried here. It may come across in the content. It may come across in the messaging. Um, but I have yet to see specifically what you've denoted that differentiates you from others. Um, but Rhino Dog, how are you doing? Just want to make sure you're good and you're not getting overwhelmed by this. Uh, sometimes it can feel like drinking from a fire hose in these reviews. But also, I hope you're taking notes. And obviously, this is something that is uh, recorded so you can go back to it later. But but so far, I'm very, very impressed with especially where you were before. Jonathan says, I'm, sh I'm, n I'm not sure I'm on board with tr the trimmed beard. Uh, I feel much better, though. So I'm, I'm, I, I just was not... It was getting a little bit too big, and I went probably a little too short, but I, I went with the clip, the largest clip that I had. So I'm definitely going to grow it out again. I'm not going to keep it at this, but I think I, I want it to like something in the middle there. But I appreciate your honesty. Okay, so let's go into this blog post. Faith at the Bottom of the Barrel, a podcast to help mentor and discipline men to reach their full potential in their Christian faith through godly kingdom principles to grow as husbands, fathers, sons. So Faith at the Bottom of the Barrel, is this a podcast or a blog post? post about a podcast or is that the name of your podcast actually let's go back a little bit i want to go to the podcast and just see the podcast is i thought the 318 project right oh this is the name of got it faith at the bottom of the barrel is the name of this podcast episode the podcast is still named 318 podcast i would have this perhaps somehow be the 318 podcast a podcast to help mentor, etc. Uh, so let's go back to this particular blog, or excuse me, it is a blog post that is supporting the podcast, right? Faith at the bottom of the barrel. And then I have, like, this is, this is confusing. This is the name of the podcast episode. I would just say, like, if you can just go right straight to here, that would make the most sense versus kind of going to this page with the headline. So any, you could potentially try to figure out a way to set up a rule such that if you go to a podcast category blog post, remove the header and just go here, if that makes sense. And this is where, this is a, a great image to go along with it, right? A barrel. Thank you for the thumbs down. Still helps with the algorithm. Hope you have a better day. Um, I will say that the font can be a little bit bigger here. Generally speaking, we want something that is a little bit bigger than what, what we see here. Um, and also, I would say that don't be afraid to break up your paragraphs. This is just in general. Don't be afraid to break up your paragraphs into much smaller, like one or two sentences only, right? Um, this becomes so much easier to read on the internet. And no, this is not how we were taught to write in middle school and high school. But on the internet, the more space there is in between thoughts and between sentences, the more likely it is a person's going to keep going. This can be very tired to read, especially with a smaller font. So a, oh, somebody changed their thumbs down. Hey, well, I, thanks for changing your mind. Uh, so for example, if I were to just take this paragraph here or even this paragraph here, right? Let's take this paragraph and let's see if I can go into, you know, notes, for example, and I can change this for you. Let's go into notes. This is just, I don't usually write in here, but this is so, as you can see, this is very, this is very heavy on the eye, right? With this image in mind, the Lord showed me that so many times. So first of all, let's increase the font here to maybe even that. I wouldn't use 18 on a website, maybe 14 or 18 or 14 or 16, but with, that, with this image in mind, the Lord showed me that so many times, been, uh, uh, but sometimes our greatest measure of faith comes when it, uh, uh, that is when we put our trust in God and allow him to shake. So this is sort of a full thought here. Next, when we realized uh, when our barrel was full, we weren't completely depending on God and felt like, I'm sure not. but when we are scraping from the bottom, it seems like no relief in sight and our normal actions bring no benefits. That is when we begin to panic and take our eyes off God by praying and seeking God, allowing him to get God the depth, the depth, the depth, the depth, the depth, the depth. So as you can see, now we got four paragraphs here, and this is really, really much, much easier to read. 
So going down the whole page like this, again, just becomes, it, it, this, is the, this is the best practice for writing blog posts or writing show notes in, in this case. And I like how your show notes are almost essentially uh, written like a blog post. That's very smart because you, you, you can get people in who aren't even able to listen, which is pretty cool. Nature, adventure, family, what's up? Good to see you here. Really, that's dope, Japan. Uh, you know, okay, cool. Which side is this one? We are looking at the318project.com from rhinodog34, aka Dave, uh, and he's doing some really good stuff here. So I'm just sharing a little bit about how we're taking this much larger paragraph here and breaking it down. So we took this one paragraph here and turned it into something that was a little bit easier to read like that. And again, it's just so, so much easier to read when it's in that way. That's gonna help reduce a little bit too. Now, in addition to that, you could like, let me just take this additional paragraph here and let's, let's just see what we can do here. Let's go back and uh, let's make all of this the same font, just 18 so we can all see it. And then what I, what I would do is like take this one, so that sentence, I would make this bigger and make it bold. So you see how now this even becomes its own little headline situation. So this is, this, th this becomes something that now, can you imagine this being here? So these, these are called subheadlines. Where did it go? These are called subheadlines. The ability for a person to read is so much easier when even within the same blog post, there are subheadlines like this. And they can be questions. And literally, it's not that hard. You can just pull out the top thought of a paragraph and pop that into its own line, make it a bold statement. And of course, you also benefit if you are indeed writing for search engine optimization, if these particular components have uh, also keynotes in them or keywords. They don't have to have keywords in them. But now we see like this becomes its own section within the much larger blog post and it breaks up the monotony of the blog post itself, right? They can be a part of something that just people can continue to read on, the sub headlines, or they can just be, you know, you can you can probably put a set, uh, uh, maybe maybe this is the sub headline right before before it and it's bold and it stands out right if i were to go to let's see uh how to start a podcast this is just like the easiest way for me to get to that blog post so how to start a podcast so here's the text up top a little bit of paragraph changing some things to be bold can be great to stand out italics you can use that as well and I also have, because this is a giant thing, but you can see how, how easy it is to read when you have these. Um, so look, well, that depends is literally its own paragraph. One, one sentence for that paragraph, one to sentence for that paragraph. Now, this section, how, to start, how starting a podcast changed my life. Bullet points to go through that. Next, the number one reason why you need to start a podcast. Bullet points with a little bit of a, of a block text there. Scroll down. Podcast myths and potential blockers. And this just, just becomes so much easier to scroll down and, and read through. Myth number four, podcasting is saturated. It's hard to compete, et cetera. So the bigger fonts help us move down a page. And I'm glad we went into that, but you have all the right text there. We just need to take some text out, make it bigger, or break up those paragraphs. So Dave, just want to say <laughs> congratulations. Your website's looking and feeling really good. I would imagine that because of that, your, pay, your time on page has gone up. Um, and just keep up the good work. I really, really uh, am impressed with how much you've done to improve the website. So keep on keeping on. Well done. And again, that was the 318 Project, Dave's website. Um, and hopefully that's helpful. Anything cameras? Hello, Peflin. How's it going today? It's going extremely well. We just had a really, really good site review. This is the after effect after getting reviewed here and what happens when people take action. So well done and thank you so much. All right, who else might we want to review? Saying bruh from the blue water of the Pacific. Try not to drop my phone. Yo, you're on the water right now? Bruh. Bruh, appreciate you. All right, a barren art. Sure. Be better. 365.com. Sure, why not? The letter B better dot 365.com. Now, if you, oops. BeBetter365.com. 
Pat, your book is a masterpiece. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, BeBetter365.com. I'm not, it's not coming up. Be Better. Oh, there it is. That was weird. Cool. Look, look at these angle designs, both in the mountain in the background. That's pretty cool. I just, I'm getting a quick, full, like, quick, quick, quick look at this. Um, this font is very difficult to read. It is a little wide in, in each letter. Just a, a, a quick up front, like my my eye would get tired reading that font. Um, it's okay for headlines. I think it, it looks great here. This stuff stands out really well. Um, but when it comes to like your just talking text, if you will, like this kind of stuff, it's it's very harsh, if you will. So I would definitely make sure to... Um, thank you, Kwok, for the comments about the reel. Yeah, I have another one coming today that's more of a, a, a laughing matter, but it, it should come out pretty soon. Just got to put the final touches on it. Okay. Be better 365. Look better, feel better, move better, get started today. Which option is best for you and your schedule? Start here. So what is this? That That's a, a customized approach to help you meet your goals. So I would have this up front. A customized, is it a workout plan? Is it a, uh, what? how would you define what this is? Look better, feel better, move better. That's great. I like that as a headline. That just tells me right up front. The logo looks pretty cool. But again, get started today on what? Um, what am I going getting started? Wh which which option of what is better? And for my schedule, you're 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 asking me to marry me before I even know who you are and what we're about here. So is this a is this a diet plan? Is this a is this a is this a workout thing? Like I'm I'm not quite sure. Even when it says a customized approach to help you meet your goals, like of what is it? Is it food? Is it an overall plan? I don't know what it is. I need, a, I need a little bit more support up here to get me going, oh, this is kind of what I was looking for or what I need versus get started today, see what see which option is best for you in your schedule. So that's just uh, number one. Number two, I do not see you or a face here. This feels like it's a company, right? It feels like it's a company. If that's what you're going for, that's awesome. So we need to do a lot more to help people understand what this company is about and what it can do. Um, this is why if you were to put like, are you, are you coaching people? Is this something that, um, you know, is this something that uh, we could, uh, sure, anything cameras, we can get into that next, no worries. I might need that link again later, but uh, be better 365, look better, feel better, move better, get started today. Well, what happens if I click start here? I love that you have a start here thing. Okay, so it goes down there and that's fine. Below a few examples of services offered, click view all to see a full list of all the services available online coaching cool let's get coaching to help you reach your goals so it's weird that you had me click on coaching but then i'm not in where you tell me about online coaching more because online personal training is different language and then you also show in-home personal training and ebooks and programs i thought i was going to get more information about online coaching so if i click on ebooks and programs it's going to take me to the same thing yeah exactly so why why do you why do you have the separate thing you're almost making me go through two steps in, in, instead of just this, just the one. Um, so if I click on ebooks and programs, I either get I I either should get just like this, if that makes sense. So this is an in-depth detail got detail guide. Although if I view all here, yeah, I mean why why not take me here? But if there was some more information about books, I love. So ebooks. So it's interesting. I uh, these are books that you're recommending. Recommending are these your books or these books by other people? Um, just books you recommend. I would have a little bit more explanation there. This is an in-depth detailed guide that teaches you everything you know. So th there's a little bit of, of disconnect here as well. I'm looking. I'm seeing, and maybe you're just right in the beginning stages of building your website, and this is fine. This is this is why we're going through this because this is where you can find in those holes. But if I click on ebooks and programs. Um, I, th I would say either just be, be books because isn't online personal training or in-home personal training a program as well. Um, but anyway, this is an in-depth detailed guide that teaches you everything you need to know to get started. So I click on view all to get the ebook guide. Maybe it should say ebook guide and then I don't get necessarily the guide itself. Oh, the eBooks have not com been completed. So I found, I found something that it wasn't finished yet. I apologize about that, but okay. Cool, you have a lot of uh, things here. I love how you're helping people 
who are maybe a, a little bit younger, postpone though, and that's fine. Virtual boot camps. Yeah, the font again is, is pretty difficult to read here. Uh, let's go into online personal training. So, okay, just looking at this online personal training instruction and feedback on all movements in your training program for each workout. So this is working out. This is this is personal training to help you reach your uh, fitness and health goals. That that's the thing that was missing on the home page. Um, look better, feel better can happen in so many ways. Is this meditation? Is this just food? Is this is this what? So I, again, a little bit more detail about what that would be up front would be good. And then I like what I'm seeing here in terms of the offerings. It's great. Um, I would say Vancouver, BC residents, one on one personal. So that's where you're at. That's cool. Live sessions where you'll be guided through every exercise and get feedback in real time for every set. And I know this works. I have a virtual personal trainer myself. The one thing that I would say is, um, let's see if I can go sign up and get started. Pick a time and date. Wow. Okay. So I would say the things that are missing here is I want to see other people who, or at least some some testimonials from other people who have gotten some help from you. I, I haven't seen any of that yet. And what's difficult about this is I'm hiring a coach, somebody who's going to be talking to me in person. And that for many people can be a very scary thing to do. So we need to show proof that this thing work has worked for others. When we see other people who have done something, we want to do that too. And right now, I don't know if you have any clients or people who you can feature or stories, case studies that you could share about how you've helped others, but that would uh, definitely go a long way for sure. Uh, the colors, the pictures, I agree with with American Prince Charles here. It feels good. It feels very comforting. It feels very like, yo, we're getting stuff done here. Um, start here. Okay. Online coaching. There's your programs. So here's what I was looking for before. Why is this different? Why is this better? So I'm so glad. This is, More people need to do this. Like, here's what we do differently than others, right? And I would say that um, this this looks really cool, actually. This looks very professional to have, like, a yoga mat with the brand name on it. That I like that a lot. Um, why is this better? Let's see if you've answered that. So this is what I'm looking at here. Our world is filled with misleading headlines like eat this one food and lose 10 pounds or this secret exercise that will give you shredded abs or even this one cooking spice that will melt away fat. I'm sure you've seen them all if you spend any time looking at fitness related content. Good, you've connected with me. I think that's smart to connect with you know the same language that we hear. You're setting up what's different. Instead of trying to sell eight minute abs or other quick fix clickbait nonsense, I wanna help you learn the truth. It's interesting that you said I here because that's a very personal thing to say. And I like that. You made me feel like there's a real person on the other end, yet I don't know who I'm learning from. That's the thing. Who is coaching me here? I, w I wanna know about you. I wanna know about like who's behind this. Maybe there is a little bit of about. And then I'll go back to that page. About the problem with fitness. So the same headline there, and that's okay to have. My passion over the years now, this is cool that this is your passion, but again, how does this help me? And how do I know and feel comfortable who I'm learning from? So a picture uh, of, of you. Um, some information about how you've helped other people. Um, if you're going to be coaching people, we need to show how you've coached others. We need to show who people are gonna be learning from. Chat, let me know if you agree, but would you hire a coach that you've never seen before? I'm just going to be blatant, blatant and ask that question. So let's see if we get some answers. No, this is good. This is, this is the kind of feedback that this person needs, but this is great. Um... Let me go back to that thing, that differentiator, right? Like this almost feels like sales pagey versus like inviting to have a conversation. Um, and I think Destiny said something too. So a lot of no's here, right? I wanna see who I'm learning from. I wouldn't hire one. So very clear, right? This is very important for us to, to, to see who's behind this. And I think that even of itself would help a person go here and feel a little bit more comfortable about who they're learning from, right? 
So let's, it's uh, inside, uh, b -b 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 none of that is going to be effective long term if at all if you're in. Okay, instead of trying to sell eight minute abs or other quick fix clickbait nonsense, I wanna help you learn the truth behind improving your health and reaching your personal goals. It's definitely not going to be through eating one magic food or avoiding this one food that is killing you or making you fat. None of that is going to be effective long term if at all. If you're interested in learning effective and time-tested methods that will make a positive change and get you on track to reaching your goals, then I would love to help you along the way. If you would like to get a free consultation to see if it would be a good fit, click free consultation button below for free tips and information, okay, et cetera. Okay, so I'm gonna go into free consultation just because I wanna see how this works. Okay, again, I don't know who you are. I'm already making very important decisions based on very little information about who I'm gonna be talking with. Whenever you are trying to get a consultation or a free call, which I think is smart to get because sometimes people do need a little bit more uh, help um, and, and a little bit more of a push to get into things that you know are gonna help them. So I like that you're doing the free consultation. For things like this, especially long-term training, it makes sense to devote maybe a 15-minute call to or, or an assessment of some kind before you have somebody who is now a client for a year or even more. And I think that's really smart. We need to help people feel comfortable about the free consultation option though. What is gonna happen in the free consultation? Are you going to ask me questions? What kinds of questions? Are you going to have me take my shirt off so you can see and assess me that way? I'm very uncomfortable doing that. Again, that's probably extreme. You probably wouldn't do that, but this is what's going through a person's mind. How can I help this person who maybe is interested feel comfortable about getting on the call with me, right? So we need to unlock that uh, and, and, and make people feel more secure about that potential option. And what happens on, like how long is this call? Um, making sure that people understand that there's no obligation um, and even sharing that you might offer them some advice or a quick win, whether you they choose to work with you or not. This, this can help people go a long way too. But again, yeah, I really like I really like that. That's pretty cool. And, and that could be obviously Photoshopped or not, but it doesn't matter. I like that a lot. For this type of niche, people definitely want to see their fitness coach, indeed. Um, and then the other thing that I was going to mention is in this section alone, I, I, I don't, I'm not yet convinced that this is um, different. I see who you're trying to be different from, but there are many others who are also trying to be different in that similar way. So when it comes to why is B better 365 different, what's different about your approach? Like you, you're different. You, you've done. You've started this idea. Like you know, I don't. I'm. I'm. This is not about the fads and the latest diet. And at Be Better Three Six Five, we help you understand the truth about what works for you. And what's different here is I take, a, and I'm just making this up. Um, I take a, an approach as if I'm helping a friend. So I want to get to know you first because I want to help my friends. And so we can become friends first before I train you. I'd love to get to meet you first and perhaps give you a little bit of a consultation. And that's what's unique here. I treat every one of my clients like a friend because that would allow both of us to care for each other and have a better relationship and allow for success to come much faster. I wanna treat you like a real human being. And so as such, I wanna get to know you a little bit. So click on the button below for a free call with me. It'll be just 15 minutes. I'm just gonna get to know you a little bit and we can determine if it's gonna be a good fit or not between us. So I think that that could be really interesting in terms of a unique thing, right? Like just the, the, the friend matter. And I don't know if that's the case and exactly what you do, but hopefully that's making sense. There's too much text on the page without breaks. Try bullet points, use images. Cool. I think this is advice that good, help people as a friend. Cool, so hopefully this helps uh, a lot of things to get started with, but I think that this is exactly what you need and obviously you're just right in the beginning stages here. So this is the perfect time. I wanna commend you for having the courage to ask for help at this stage. And if only we all got help when we were starting out like this. Um, and I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that I was able to come in and rescue you. No, no, no. The fact that you stood up and said, you know what? Even though this isn't perfect, I need some help and guidance and you got guidance from myself and other people here. I would recommend you continue to do so in different ways from other people. Have and what, like what I would do is actually find some people to get on a live call with and then just like try to hear what they feel about your website 
as they're going through it for the first time, maybe a friend or something like that. And I think that that would be really cool. So um, you're welcome. Yeah, and, and great job again. Just what a wonderful start. Keep going. It's interesting that we saw for the second time a uh, hamburger icon in the upper right-hand corner. We saw that twice now. Cool. Okay. Uh, anything cameras? Where is your sales page at? You linked to it earlier and I lost it. So I'm going to see if I could find it. Anyway, hope we're all having fun today, learning together. I'm learning as we go. I'm learning what works for you. I'm learning more about the kinds of things you guys are interested in. I love that. Destiny says, should I hire a photographer for site photos? Uh, you can, if you'd like. Um, I would, number one, before I would hire a photographer, I would, I would write out a list of all the different kinds of photos that you would want. So I would start with your website first and then reverse engineer the photos that you want and then see if you might even need a, a photographer for that or not because maybe in some cases there are stock images that you could use. Don't use generic stock images, but there's a gazillion stock images that you could likely use that could support what it is you're doing. And number two, uh, you might be able to take those photos yourself um, and, and save a load of money because it does cost some money to have a photographer for sure. Okay, there we go. I'm going to look this up really quick. Uh, cameras. Dot, oh, anything cameras dot teachable, I think. Anything dash cameras. Dot teachable dot com slash P slash YT production. Let's see if this pops up. Yay, it popped up. No, it didn't. Uh, <laughs> this is what I got. And it's probably my fault. Anything cameras. Oh, pre-sale dot. I forgot the pre-sale part. Excuse me. Pre-sale dot. No. Why am I looking that up on Google? No. HTTP. Pre-sale. What? dot sale <clears throat> is it oh pre dash sale gee whiz all right uh pre dash sale why did it not did it not pop up there right pre dot anything my gosh we're gonna do this Hackers might be trying to steal your information. Mm, that's not a good thing. I don't know what's going on. Help me. <laughs> Internet doesn't want to... You could go to one of our videos and access a link through the description. Okay, I'll do it that way. You can tell what I'm into. Stocks. Compost. Hip-hop beats. Tesla. Gardening. An Oculus. If you want to get to know a person, check out their YouTube homepage. All right. We Let's go to one of your latest videos, perhaps. So clean. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh. Yay, I found it. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't have the pre anything. I mean, maybe that's what went wrong. Anyway, cool. From acting to uploading, produce powerful videos for YouTube, a guide to using equipment you have to make your YouTube videos look and sound better. The acting part is what caught me off guard in terms of a name. Is this for actors to put to, into YouTube? Um, I'm guessing acting you mean in the sense of just getting behind the camera right i like the way the page looks you have a video here i want to watch that really quick you have some good paragraph here uh, about the instructor this looks and feels really good this is a uh, teachables sales page right so that's great i love how i'm i wish you had a switch pod but no i'm just kidding um yes so from acting to uploading is, is this still playing in the background no okay good from acting to uploading, produce, so that's the name of the course. But again, let is this for actors specifically? Because 
when I get behind the camera, I don't think I'm acting. Um, I don't ever consider myself an actor at all. Um, that's not language that I would use, if that makes sense. So we need to be really, really honed in on the language that our audience uses or use names that our audience would resonate with and not be confused about. So for me, I feel like we need to be an actor in order to, to upload something if this were uh, to be the case. That's the only thing that sort of captured my attention up front. From acting to uploading, produce powerful videos for, uh, for YouTube. So I would say, I mean, that's the only part that I, f I feel like um, needs to, to change. Uh, I see some comments about changing the font or the way it looks. It's hard to, on Teachable, get to that level sometimes, so just keep that in mind. But I think it's, it's good for how it is. Um, and perhaps you could make the background just a tad bit darker so that this portion here can be seen. Or even, like, even how I did that. You see how that kind of stands out a little bit? Good background photo. Uh, not acting, I mean, being in front of the camera. The name was supposed to show that it covers the whole production process. Maybe that's a mindset thing for me because I consider it acting. Um, chat, maybe we can... Uh, kind of brainstorm here, or would you consider getting behind the camera, would you consider the word acting to be something that would interest you, or um, do you feel like that's what you're doing? I almost feel like acting sometimes makes it feel fake, right? And this almost works against kind of what we teach and what I know you do, which is you don't want to be fake behind the camera. And there might be a, a, another word from, uh, you know, from, from, from camera shy to camera, camera ready right? Or something like that. Uh, honestly, the name of your course doesn't matter. The name of your course doesn't matter. And what you're trying to do here is kind of get the whole A to Z thing. Um, you know, maybe it's it's uh, A to Z YouTube videos or powerful YouTube videos. Um, powerful but easy YouTube videos. I mean, again, these, these talk more about the benefit, right? Versus I, I'd much rather have you talk about the benefit of that or the idea behind it versus here you're talking about some of what is uh, involved. Um, I don't get up in the morning and, and I'm not excited to upload a video. Um, I don't want to act behind the video. Um, I want to publish the video uh, and, and get viewers, right? Um, so that's just, it's gonna take some time to brainstorm maybe different words or things that you can use, but you can see here uh, the idea, what suspense can't you take save like a bear? <laughs> Is it, are you waiting to see the video or, or what's going on? Uh, anyways, I just, uh, again, that that's the thing that stood out. That's going to be really important because that could push people away right up front. I think that, um, yeah, anyway, let's watch the video. And I, got, I don't want that to scare you. You can test it out. You could try it again later. Uh, I see that you have some of the words here from acting to uploading informational promo. That, that could even stick around, but I think in terms of a name of a course, um, I'm a little bit worried about the acting part of it because it's, it doesn't feel like acting to me. If you were to um, ask people what they do behind the camera, it would be, it would be I produce, I, I provide I, information, I, I, I get behind the camera, I, I hit record, recording, from recording to uploading. That, that speaks a little bit better to me because that's what we're doing, right? Uh, from recording to uploading and everything in between, how to produce powerful YouTube videos. Let's, uh, let's hit the promo video. transitions very good quality obviously you want to have good quality video right you want to have good quality video if you're gonna be using a video course right
Hello, I am Leif Jensen, and I've been on YouTube for a little over seven years now, and I've worked on many YouTube channels throughout those seven years. And in that time, I've learned quite a bit about cameras, camera settings, lighting, audio, and generally all about production quality. Just take a look at our channel. Here is a video from years ago. Because it's gonna cause little shadows all throughout the... Mm. Kind of cool, you're building this relationship. You're talking a little bit about your history and, and, and the background behind it, which is pretty cool. Uh, a few comments on the video itself. Number one, it could use some voiceover work in the beginning or some video up front to welcome people in and to let people know sort of the kinds of things that you have to offer, right? So this video went into all the different components of the course. Amazing, fantastic. I like how you laid everything out even within those videos, having something like when you say, uh, you know, lighting, you know, uh, budget options, indoor, outdoor, all those sorts of things, you're not giving away the whole uh, story here, but you're just kind of teasing people and letting people know more about the kinds of things that people can get inside. But anyway, I think the most important thing is we can have a front part of the video to go, hey, my name is, right? And this online course will help you not only learn how to record your videos, even if you're not comfortable, and not only learn how to upload them and put them on YouTube, but it's gonna help you build the audience that you've always wanted to build using video, which is our superpower and why we created this course. Stick around so you can see exactly the kinds of things that you're going to learn here. I think it's really important to talk about the benefit of this, the benefit. You're selling, but I, I, I think that you know, people, people want to create YouTube videos, but they don't do it because they just want to create YouTube videos. They, we want it because we want more recognition. We want it because we want more um, fans and followers. We want to build a business. We want to spread a message. And, and honing in on that works really, really well. Um, there are people out there who talk about impact and influence online. That's Sean Cannell's video course um, to help you build your impact and influence online. Right, because that's ultimately what people want. We need to really hone in on the benefits as much as possible. And I, th I think just a quick little uh, add-on video up front because it took a minute and 12 seconds to get to the first time I heard somebody's voice. And again, when we're trying to learn from somebody, we wanna know who we're learning from. Um, and I see the face in the picture here, which is perfect. And I think a quick upfront intro that speaks to me as the viewer and also connects it to the benefit and the why and speak my language right and you're not going to say like hey and you went when you hit record and you start acting behind that video camera that's not how you say it right but when you hit record and you start wondering about what you're going to say or maybe even before that you don't even know where to go or what the lighting's going to be like there are 101 things to focus on and in this course we take all those things and make them super easy for you to understand so that you can finally get your youtube videos up and you can start to gain subscribers today, right? So this is this is uh, really, really important. Tapping in on the why and who is it who is it for, right? Good. Thanks for explaining things clearly and easy to understand. You're welcome. So anything cameras, how are you feeling so far? Again, we're just improving what you've already started and it, and it looks and feels great. I wanna scroll down a little bit. Maybe you've been on YouTube for years. Maybe you haven't even started. Either way, you are probably here because you want to boost your production quality and make better YouTube videos. Um, I would say let's, you used three, I'm not sure words there. And that's a lot. What I'm meaning here is maybe you've been on YouTube. Maybe you haven't. You're probably here because you want to boost your production quality and make better YouTube videos. I would be a little bit more authoritative. I would say, whether you've been on YouTube for years or you haven't even started yet, you're here because you wanna boost your production quality and make better YouTube videos. Because ultimately, you want more subscribers and to build your business or to get your message out there and increase your influence, right? So do you see how there's just such a different tone there? And I think this is just very common for us, especially for those of us starting out from the beginning to do this for the first time, is to go, well, maybe this, maybe that, you're probably this, you know, you're probably, no, let, like, we have to be more commanding 
And it's not that you are like on top of this mountain going, you need this and you need to do that. But there's this perception of value and quality when it comes to certain kinds of words that you use, right? So we got to be um, careful about, oh, you're probably here because this. No, like you can assume that. And you can use the fact that if they aren't, then they're going to leave anyway to be a filter for you, right? I would start a new paragraph here. This covers equipment. So this course covers. And I would go, I would go again, let's go a little bit deeper into that. Instead of this course covers equipment, settings, lighting, audio, editing, and everything in between, I would say something like, We help you, or I, I help you, or this, this course helps you easily learn how to choose what equipment and settings, lighting and audio. And again, you use that word acting again, um, which is, uh, again, I don't think that that's how YouTube viewers or people who do YouTube think about what they do. Anyway, um, instead of this course covers, like the fact that you're covering it does what for me? It, it, it saves me time. This course will help you save time learning about equipment, Settings, again, benefit, my benefit of all the stuff that you're covering is that you're saving me time. So again, you see how I'm trying to rope in as much of the benefit for the viewer as possible. Like, sure, this course covers equipment, settings, lighting, audio, et cetera, and that's important to know. But when you can add in that message of, we help you learn how to easily d work with, you know, we help you learn how to easily, easy, easier, right? Uh, new paragraph there. This course does not cover growing your YouTube channel. Okay, that's that's fine. And I like how you are just upfront with that. Um, I would say even mentioning, you know, uh, diving a little bit into the, the, the that fact in a way that also positions it for help because I think people would want that. But the fact that you're not mentioning it, I would try to cushion that a little bit. And, and what I'm trying to get at is... And I think there is a course outline below, right? Or sometimes there is a course outline. Maybe it's not produced yet, but you can have a section in your sales page here of actually it showing the progression and the journey. People want to see the journey and sort of what's inside. Um, but what I was saying is, you know, even say, you know, um, this course is not here to teach you how to market your videos on YouTube. However, the fact of the matter is when you produce great YouTube videos, they can sometimes market themselves. Perhaps, and maybe you can include a bonus, right, later, like uh, that can include a, some basic marketing information or at least links to or resources. I wouldn't say that this, does, that this doesn't cover growing your YouTube channel. I would just say, you know, um, the primary focus of this course is to help you with your production and the quality so that when you get up on YouTube or use this for courses or use this for anything that you want, it's gonna be the, at the highest standard, but the easiest for you to produce. And within your course, maybe there's a bonus module. Maybe you actually, in fact, use this opportunity of the fact that you don't have it yet as a way to include a bonus, a bonus that maybe gets removed or something that just adds value. You know, hey, we have a bonus module in the course where we give you resources for all the places and people that you can learn how to do best in YouTube from, if that makes sense. Uh, great. But I think, I mean, those are the higher level things. Um, so well done. Uh, appreciate you for coming in and for everybody. So anyway, uh, great job. Thank you. Um, we're already at the top of the hour. I didn't even realize. So I'm going to uh, close up and just say thank you again for coming in today. I appreciate you for spending time with me and the three websites that reviewed today. Uh, really, really well done. Keep up the good work. Very, very satisfied and happy to see a lot of people learning here and implementing, and I'm just so happy about that. And good luck on the course launch, anything cameras, and well done, everybody, again. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, thank you, and um, yeah, have an amazing weekend. I'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. noon Eastern, where we're just gonna go with some casual Q&A, ask me anything. I'm gonna try to get to 40, 50 questions. Maybe we'll see, but uh, we'll have some fun. Thanks, take care, and as always, Team Flynn for the win.
This is the Income Stream To help you achieve your dream Oh, while we keep it clean This is the Income Stream It's the kind of show Where you can come and go But then you leave inspired With no fee required The Income Stream With Pat Flynn Dude, this is like literally the fastest hour of the day for me. I have no idea how it got to one hour already. Three amazing reviews, three amazing people. Keep up the good work, everybody. And hopefully you've learned something too. I think you did. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have an amazing weekend. Stay cool. Stay safe. Stay away from those fires. And, you know, if there's an earthquake like there was last night in uh, Southern California here, um, just get some cover. <laughs> anyway, take care. Peace out. Love y'all. Bruh. Oh, and by the way, it would, whew, close one there. It would behoove you to come in tomorrow because we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to answer so many questions for you. So take care. Bye. Whew.